Well, looky what we got here. We got another computer. That's not mine. Wah. But, it's a Pentium 1 computer. And this computer will be given to uh, a student, but decide to uh, make some changes in that. Since this computer is a Pentium 1, I will be, let's say, trading it, pa trading this Pentium 1 for this <coughs> Pentium 3 down here. That computer down there is a Pentium 3, and it's a whole lot better than a Pentium 1. I haven't started this computer yet, so we're gonna start it up and see what it does. And it has a AV a video jack on the back. So instead of using a monitor, we're gonna use the Commodore 64 monitor instead. Ready? First start since 1995, and this computer is a Orion Computer Center. Oh, didn't turn on the monitor. Oh yeah, it works. I gotta turn the brightness down a bit. Oh, it's running Windows 98. Right. Or all that down. Right, lower that still. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is working. I highly doubt this computer has sound on it, and it doesn't even have sound. Great. So we got a computer here with no color, no sound, no nothing. See how much RAM it has then for a junker. Since it's not mine, thank God, I don't even have to worry about it. System information only has 64 megabytes of RAM. It's a Pentium 2 processor computer. And. It has second edition of Windows 98 on it, but apparently the second edition version is crappy. Let's check the hard drive. Oh, that's a 6 gig, wow. Didn't think an old junker like this would actually have a 6 gig. It's designed for Windows 95. And only 5.59 gigabytes of that has been used. So this computer hard drive is going to go inside the one of the Dell computers for Windows 2000. Yay. So I'm going to close all this up if I can find the taskbar. And I'm going to tinker around with this computer a little bit. See what it has inside. Oh, who cares? I'm going to shut down. Well, let's see if we got a CD in there. Empty. Who cares? It's an old computer. You gotta shut it down the wrong way because that's Windows 98 without sound and color. Another computer over here that I would like to show you is a custom built computer with a DVD drive, with a CD rewritable drive, mismatched floppy drive, that's always expected. And we've got two USB ports on the front the stupid door that doesn't shut properly. And it has that science symbol on the side. I used to have one of these computers, but I... You piece of crap. Flopping around. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Six USB ports on the back, so that's a total of eight. Um, audio... Um, audio cable, uh, audio jacks, printer jack, video, uh, no, uh, printer port, um, monitor port, and keyboard and mouse ports. This computer has a um, 80 gig hard drive inside, running Windows 7, but unfortunately the 
video card inside this computer does not support Windows 7. But the sound card does. That's just about it. So, what I'm going to do to this computer is I'm going to take the 80 gig hard drive out and I'm going to put Windows XP on. As you know, like who, like it's kind of uh, stupid to put Windows XP on, and this computer's for uh, uh, for grade fivers. Like this is a elementary school computer that I donated, but unfortunately Windows 7 is not working, so I'm going to put XP on it again and take out that one RAM stick because who cares? Like it's for elementary school students to use only. I'm going to take the DVD drive out that out and put regular drives in here because it's not like that they're going to be playing DVDs or anything. So you fix and you salvage. That's how it works. With this computer, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to give them that computer down there. Besides, this computer doesn't even have Ethernet on it. It only has the stupid telephone jacks on it. So I'm going to get rid of rid of this computer or probably scrap it who knows and go from there so that's about it that's how my day was oh also um, a high school um, is getting rid of two more computers it's an IB there's an IBM computer and there's another Express uh, 3000 computer but this one's a little bit newer um, I haven't started them yet, but I did take the lid off them to, just to see what it's like inside. The IBM appears to have a 3 gig hard drive, so it says on the label. And it has a lot of dust and one blown capacitor. So we're going to see if uh, IBM will fire up with one blown capacitor. If it does, holy crap, I'll be happy. I don't know about the Express 3000 computer because I didn't have much luck with the one down there. So I'm not sure if I'll have much luck with the one that's still there. But the only old computer that still works and that survived is that Zoe's computer sitting right next to the MDG and that's sitting next to the compact. It's the one right there in the center with that sticker on it. Um, that one runs Windows 3.1. I'm pretty shocked. It's the first Windows 3.1 computer I've ever gotten. Another computer, which is that one underneath the MDG, it's that one there, runs Windows 3.11. So, yeah, I'm hitting the jackpot here. I'm pretty pleased with that. And, yeah. So I'll make a video about the other computers and that's pretty much it. So we'll see you next time.